Hello friends, welcome to my channel Miss Recap. Today I am going to explain 2019 animated adventure comedy movie called Missing Link. The world is full of wonderful creatures. Some of them are still unknown and some are declared myths. However, this lucky man gets a personal letter from a mythical creature who needs his urgent help. So Lionel Frost is a young man with a huge curiosity for discovering new creatures. Despite his talent and hard work, he has not gotten any recognition. Today he is after a sea creature. His assistant Mr. Lind advises him to give up as the sun is setting in already. Lionel is a determined man and he ignores what others say. After reaching the right location, he starts playing music as it is rumored to attract a special sea creature. Though it seemed unreal, the mysterious sea creature exists for real. It rises above the water and tries scaring away the humans. Lionel is more excited than afraid. He ties a rope around the fish and asks Mr. Lind to hold it while he takes a picture. The fish loses its temper and grabs Mr. Lind in its mouth. Lionel does not panic at all and jumps in the water to save his assistant. After they get back in the boat, the fish throws them out of the water. Unfortunately, the camera gets destroyed and the evidence is lost. Lionel is ready to go back in the sea to get another picture, but Mr. Lent resigns. He can't risk his life every day. Lionel feels his heart tense and he picks up a random letter out of the hundreds of mail sent to him. It turns out to be a jackpot. Someone has given him the address to find an actual Bigfoot. Lionel grabs the footprint he had saved and rushes to the organization named Society of Great Men. He interrupts the meeting to announce his discovery. The society is led by Lord Tigger Dunsby, who hates Lionel because he always brings useless or incomplete research work. But Lionel is determined to make a remarkable discovery and become a member of the Society of Great Men. Lord Tigger makes fun of him and claims that Bigfoot is just a myth. There is no way anyone can prove its existence. In response, Lionel challenges Lord Piggott. If he succeeds in providing Bigfoot's existence, Lord Piggott has to accept him from the Society of Great Men, otherwise he will not show his face again. Lord Piggott accepts the challenge as he has nothing to lose. However, he does not want to take any risk. Though he does not say it publicly, Lord Piggott knows that Lionel is a talented man who can achieve the impossible. To assure that he does not succeed, Lord Piggott hires a thug to kill Lionel. Meanwhile, Lionel gets on his ship towards a great discovery. He reaches the other city and walks to the middle of the forest that was mentioned in the letter. He suddenly notices a giant peeking through the trees. Lionel runs after him and finally witnesses the great creature with his eyes. It's Bigfoot. He is real. The more astonishing fact is that the beast can actually speak English. He can also read and write. The letter Lionel received was also written by Bigfoot. He takes Lionel to his cave as he wants his help. Bigfoot reads about Lionel in the newspaper. The interest in mythical creatures is what Bigfoot needs. He is lonely as he is the last member of his species. But then he learned that Bigfoots and Yeris are cousins. He wants to join their family and Lionel is the one who can help Bigfoot in finding them. In return, Bigfoot will provide him all the evidence Lionel needs for his research. It's a fair deal. Lionel knows the perfect plan to find the Yeris. His late friend and a great researcher, Aldous Fortnite, had designed a map to find the mythical snow creatures. He dies during his journey to the Himalayas, but his map is still protected by his wife, as it was the last thing Aldous held in his hands. However, Lionel is not in good terms with Aldo's wife, Adelina, as she was Lionel's ex-girlfriend. Despite this fact, Lionel wants to try convincing her. But first, he needs a fake identity for Bigfoot. He still has the papers of Mr. Lind, so he decides to use them after replacing the T with K. So now Bigfoot is called as Mr. Lind. Lionel covers the beast with a cloth and gets in a bar to find a place to, to spend the night. The sub named Stank, whom Lord Piggott hired, has researched the bar. Lionel recognizing him immediately, as he is notorious for killing many rare creatures except Bigfoot. However, Stank is ready to kill Bigfoot now along with Lionel. On hearing this, Lionel does not run away in fear. Instead, he fights back bravely and also advises Mr. Link to defend himself. 
They both survived but Lionel faced to catch his tank and the notorious criminal disappears in thin air. The next morning Lionel gets to meet Adelina and tells Mr. Link to wait outside. Adelina is not happy to see Lionel. He did not even come to Aldous's funeral and now he appeared just for his selfish needs. Adelina reminds Lionel that he left her alone while Aldous stood beside her side. When he died on the snowy mountain, he was holding the map tightly in his hands. It is an important memory of him and Adelina can't give it away. Lionel offers to pay money and this statement makes Adelina more angry. She kicks him out for the house but he comes again during the night. When everyone is asleep, Lionel and Mr. Link break into the house and try cracking the locker. Mr. Link decides to take the whole lock out of the window but the noise wakes up everyone. Adelina rushes to catch them but Lionel and Mr. Link runs away in time along with the map. The next morning they disguise themselves as ladies to get away from Adelina but she finds them anyway. She has brought a gun to threaten Lionel but gets interrupted by a stank. He shoots blindly and Lionel and Adelina hides away along with Mr. Link. Adelina is fed up with the lonely walls of her house. She also wants to join Lionel's journey and he is not a position to say no. Lionel pretends that he is on the train and his tank gets trickled while Lionel chooses an alternative route to his destination. On the way, he discusses the map with his team. After passing through New York and London, they will reach the European continent and then travel through India. From there, they can have a comfortable journey to the Himalayas and reach their destination which is known as Shangri-La. It has many names and legends say that it is a magical place where humans never grow old. But Aldous believed that it was a place where humans did not evolve and still exist in the form of creatures like Mr. Link. There is no exact location of this valley but Aldous has found a way. He knew a mountain guide named Gamu who is aware of all the secret passages on the mountains. Once they find Shangri-La, they will find the Yetis. Hearing this, Mr. Ling grows in excitement. On reaching the seaport, Mr. Ling gets really nervous but Lionel forces him to hurry up. Stank is still after them and he will not rest till he kills them. That's true. Stank has found them and he sent a letter to Lord Piggott about the location of Lionel. Lord Piggott orders his assistant to hire more thugs and bribe the port authorities so there is no chance of Lionel to escape. After getting on the boat, Lionel offers a drink to Adelina as a peace offering, but Adelina believes that Lionel should pay attention to Mr. Ling instead. The poor creature thinks too highly of Lionel, who is the last hope for him, but Lionel treats him so rudely. Adelina advises Lionel to try having a conversation with Bigfoot and help the poor guy feel lighter. Lionel does as she said and listens to Mr. Ling's thought. He is having a deep and continuous pain in his chest that suffocates him. It's because of a dream that has not come true yet. Lionel can relate to that feeling as he also longed for becoming the greatest adventurer in the world. He wants his name written in history, but Mr. Ling does not even have a meaningful name, so Lionel asks him to choose one for himself. Mr. Ling mentions a prospector named Susan, who visited his cave one day. She did not get scared on seeing him but smiled instead. Mr. Ling wants to be named after that prospector. He doesn't care even if it's a girl name. Lionel wishes Mr. Ling a good night and walks away but he runs into Stank who is pointing a gun at Adelina. She gets away from him but he starts fighting Lionel. The ship enters a storm and it starts shaking rapidly. Adelina falls off the ship and Mr. Ling rushes to save her. While Lionel is running away from his tank, who is following him with an axe. Lionel runs through the corridor and locks it afterward. Meanwhile, Mr. Link saves Adelina and joins Lionel. They get in a lifeboat and escape. Stan reaches the shore and informs Lord Piggott about his failure. Lord Piggott loses his patience and decides to catch Lionel by himself. Lionel and his mates take a train to the European continent and travel through the Indian forest. They reach the Himalayas and try communicating with the locals. A young lady notices them and reveals that she is a Gamu's granddaughter. She takes them to Gamu but warns them of the old lady's short temper. They must not trigger her and especially not mention the chicken sitting on her head. Gamu offers them yak meat soup and yak butter tea. 
They both taste awful, but they had to eat to keep Gamu satisfied. Lionel finally asks about the lost valley, but Gamu says the valley is not lost. It's hidden by itself and the people looking for it are lost. She refuses to cooperate at first, but Lionel explains that he just wants Mr. Ling to find his family. Gamu agrees to help and gives direction to her daughter. Lionel and his mates leave for their destination and Lord Piggott also finds Gamu. He threatens to kill her grandson and forces her to reveal the direction of Shangri-La. Mr. Ling gets really excited to see the footsteps of the Yetis. He rushes to his lost cousins and offers a handshake. The Yetis are more rude than expected and they take the guest to their elder Yeti. She recognizes Mr. Ling as her cousin but she is not happy to see him. She takes them to show the hidden valley of Shangri-La which people believe to be a myth. Afterwards, she addresses that this heavenly place only belongs to the Yetis and there is no place for Mr. Ling. But she can't let them return as their valley must be kept a secret. The Elder orders her guards to throw Mr. Ling and his mates inside the inescapable pit of isolation. Mr. Ling quietly lies in a corner while Lionel is worried that he will not get accepted in the society of great men. Adelina gets angry at Lionel's selfish behavior. Mr. Ling has lost his will to live, but Lionel is only thinking about a stupid club. Why does he even want to be with the people who don't like him or believe what Lionel believes in? Adelina says that Lionel and Mr. Ling are the same as they want to fit in a place where they don't belong. The great man Lionel is just a myth. This statement triggers Lionel and he gets up to prove himself. He promised Mr. Ling to find a place for him and he will. Mr. Ling throws Adelina outside and she helps them climb up too. They run away from the palace and research the ice bridge but Lord Piggott is on the other side. He declares that Lionel will never get accepted in the society of great men. But Lionel does not want that anyway. He has enjoyed great adventures and found a great friend. This matters more than the stupid club. Lord Piggott gets angry and shoots on the bridge. He wants Lionel to die here so no one will know about his great discoveries. But the action backfires and Lord Piggott falls down himself while Lionel is hanging down on the other end along with his mates. Stan can save them but he refuses to do so out of personal grudge. The karma instantly and his tank falls down himself while Lionel climbs up along with his mates. He offers Adelina to take a new start with him but right now she wants to discover himself. After saying goodbye to her, Lionel and Mr. Ling return home. This is not the end but the start of endless adventures. Lionel and Mr. Ling don't need others to accept them. They will create an identity of their own. You don't need anyone's approval to know you are worth. You can do great things just by being yourself. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching if you like it so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.